President Trump had an idea. Let's have a parade. Why? Because you idiots, parades are awesome. Yeah. President Trump has told top military brass he wants a military parade in Washington, D.C. Originally reported by the Washington Post, the demand from the president was apparently inspired by the Bastille Day parade he attended in France, which he was very impressed by. France? Oh, my God. Notify the therapist. Call the comfort animals. He wants a parade. Of course, this is exactly the opposite of what the media wants. Apparently wants, I don't know, missiles, tanks rolling down Pennsylvania Avenue. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. This is not about showcasing our military. This is about the president showing off. This is all about his ego. Maybe the answer, Joe, is to just get Donald Trump a military uniform with epaulettes on the shoulders and give him some salad dressing to put on the left lapel and let him march around and, and yeah. pretend to be General Patton. That's right. Trump wants a military parade. So you're just going full dictator now. Hmm. You know, uh, I used... <laughs> I like to use these when I go to parades uh, for reasons I can't get into. But I think these whiners on cable TV could use this now. It's so strange to see so much hostility from people who are pretty much okay with any parade. We just had a parade for the Philadelphia Eagles, and they're not even birds. They're a bunch of liars. And yet we find military parades so off-putting. Now I get the criticism, America doesn't need a parade touting our military might. We already know what we can do. And as a rule, I hate parades. Being short, all I see are sweaty butts. <laughs> Actually sounds kind of great. Still, it's not Trump's opinion that's the problem. He says, showing genuine appreciation for our nation's fighting forces. No, it's actually the revulsion puked up by those shocked that someone would actually say this out loud. Yet they had no problem with other displays of attention-seeking activity. Hopefully Congress will live up uh, to the values of the American people who overwhelmingly support uh, the Dreamers. Which will excuse me, allow Maryland residents who are undocumented to pay in-state tuition. He introduced the bill in 2001, has spent most of his, excuse me, however, without per, per, paper, proper work authorization, that, school, that goal seems far-fetched. <laughs> Just got word that the House which historian confirms you have now set the record for the longest continuous speech in the House. <laughs> Still have more. I thank all of you. <laughs> <laughs> she talked for eight hours. In scientific circles, this is known as hell. <laughs> now, bottom line, unlike Pelosi's eight-hour screed that only pleased her friends, Trump was expressing an opinion that a lot of us have. And when the response to that is so out of whack, it almost makes you want to support the very thing he suggests, even when you don't agree with him. But anyway, paying attention, re anybody paying attention realizes that he's just a 70-year-old salesman from Queens who talks casually about anything. Yes, yeah, sometimes he colors outside the lines with his words and can be pretty sloppy. But that's what you get when you elect your rich uncle who doesn't give a <laughs> So now I want a military parade. I didn't want one before. I didn't even, I never wanted one. But now I want one. And you know what? I think we have the commercial. Are you ready for a celebration of the greatest fighting force of all time? It's the All-American Military Parade Extravaganza. The Annihil Celebration Palooza Apocalypse Seabomb. The ultimate salute to the badasses of the American military. Featuring the back-to-back -back World War Champs. This isn't your grandmother's military parade. It starts here and ends here. Six days of non-stop awesomeness. No celebrities, no halftime, no bathrooms, no prisoners. Starring all the latest military might. Rockets made of smaller rockets, which are made of smaller rockets. A nuclear electric guitar that plays solos while blowing up evil tyrant portables. The latest in invincible but invisible tanks. USA! USA! What, you can't see them? That's the point and the most advanced prototype ever created, a fighter jet made of deadly piranha fish. Plus, don't miss the parade's Grand Marshal, the ghost of General Custer. 
So this November, get your butt to D.C. It's the All-American Military Parade Extravaganza. Uh, now wait. I realize this could be deeply offensive to some people. So we also came up with an alternative event for those who find a military parade too unsettling. Are you offended by a parade honoring the military? Does a display of our military strength cause you deep emotional pain? Then maybe you should attend the Parade for Wimps. It's the only celebration guaranteed not to upset anyone. Featuring a giant wall of hydrangeas. Unless you're allergic, then forget about it. And designated safe spaces on every corner. Held in every sanctuary city across the country. Plus, the first 1,000 people in attendance get a free comfort peacock. The Parade for Wimps is sponsored by the Spoken Word Poet Society, the Man Bun Brigade, and the Association of Grown-Ass Men Who Prefer Flavored Coffee. The Parade for Wimps. It's for wimps. Be there. Unless you can't make it, then be sure to sign our petition banning gender-specific pronouns. The fact is, if Trump, if Trump is president and you still take everything he says literally, you're nuts. <laughs> you're like one of those Japanese soldiers on a remote island who still thinks World War II is being fought. <laughs> no, the war is over. Trump won. Period. All right. Let's welcome tonight's guest. He's as truthful as he is youthful. The YouTube sensation sweeping the nation, creator and host of the Rubin Report, Dave Rubin. She's so smart, all of her teeth are wisdom teeth. Attorney <laughs> Emily Campagno. <laughs> She's witty, snitty, and lives with a kitty. It's National Review reporter Kat Tim. <laughs> A volcano is his foot bath. Former bodyguard, massive sidekick, Tyrus. Yeah. All right. Dave, I think I know what I am. I'm a shallow human being. I'm not, I don't have any real beliefs about a parade or not. But when people get angry about something, then I choose the opposite. Isn't that what Trump does? Greg, I don't want to start the show with the criticism, but you just played that thing of Nancy Pelosi and you had a package of Depends there and you didn't make a joke. I know. You know, I missed it. That's an aside. As far as, as, far as you know, the parades, I mean, people say that Trump is anti-gay mm -hmm. and yet he wants to put on a parade. Anyone who has ever participated in or even attended a parade is gay. <laughs> You're gay. That's how it works. It doesn't matter what kind of parade, you are automatically gay. So to me, this is a great outreach to the LGBT community by the president. You have a very unique perspective, Dave. <laughs> I try. Can I borrow one of those depends, by the way? Yes, you can. By the way, Dave's husband's name is Dave, which must be confusing. It uh, <laughs> works for me. <laughs> That's very good. And, well, monogram towels. Very easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yes. Emily, uh, parade, no parade. Um, what are your thoughts? I come from a military family, and my greatest honor remains doing a USO tour in Iraq and Kuwait. Mm -hmm. But my biggest issue with this is that this is just one more polarizing issue where the left runs to their side, and mm -hmm. the you know, and and it becomes this debate where all of a sudden we're talking about that, and the real issue is being ignored, which is that we've essentially been at war for almost 20 years without consistent funding and without basically the defense uh, officials' list being responded to for modernization and maintenance and training and our service members are dying non-combat deaths because of it so to me the travesty is that lawmakers are pulling these magic minutes and shutting down the government as political strategy mm. and they're not addressing the fact that our military service members need funding and help and not uh, you know the parade not, aside like right. that's that's just clouding the issue to me mm, very serious responsible answer from <laughs> emily makes me feel kind of guilty about my silly monologue <laughs> can we cut this whole show and just remove what i just said you know cat uh i rob o'neill uh, he claims to have killed uh, Osama bin Laden, though we don't have proof. I kid, Rob, don't kill me. Uh, he, what did he say? He has a tweet. He said, a military parade is third world. <laughs> we prepare, we deter, we fight. Stop this conversation. As I said before, I don't know if he's the expert on this. Mm. You know, I think I am you more are, of an expert. Yeah, he's you. a SEAL. I'm a talk show host. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've got to say, I honestly have 
Anytime I've been at a parade, the only thing that I've ever been excited thinking about was the fact that it eventually will be over <laughs> and I will get to go home. Yes. <laughs> it's sweat it's either sweaty or cold and everyone around you is having a great time and you're really not and it's like a microcosm for your life and you're just like what am I doing here? But I think Parade, no parade. I forgot to get mad about the parade or yeah. excited for the parade. I really don't care either way. You know what drives me crazy about parades? Uh, little kids, little kids who get to ride on their parents' necks so they get a good view. If yeah. I do that as an adult, yeah. it's like people, I, I get arrested if I climb up on, if I climb up the on. The answer is no. <laughs> no. Yeah. Uh, you know. Yeah, that's where it's going. You know where it's going. No. You yeah. wouldn't even, you wouldn't even no, know it was there. No, no, it's, you not wouldn't even, it's not so much he's on my shoulders, it's just the conversation. <laughs> Can you hear me? Are my thighs and your ears too tight? I don't want to hear it. It's just... No. No? You guys no. do have a little master blaster from Beyond the Thunderdome. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and, we call, and how did that end up? Big guy died. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. It didn't end well for you either. No, it didn't. Yeah. But, you know, it was just a movie, I think. Yeah. I don't know. What about you, Tyrus? You know what? I, I love it. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you why. I was, you know, the, the Super Bowl happened. And the one thing that struck me was the parade he was talking about in France. When you see the highlights of that, yeah. was it tanks and missiles or was it military people marching and showing their, their love for and the people were love for the military? One, I think that's great. He didn't say anything about tanks and missiles. Mm -hmm. That wasn't the thing. And you can't even bring them on, on the Washington streets anyways. But to give them a day, he should take this a step further. He should make this a decree. He should make this a holiday to where just like the NFL athletes, the baseball athletes, they all get their day at the White House. Mm -hmm. Why not? Every year we bring in these guys, we, they, the people that are, that are transferring out, that are coming home to a parade that celebrates them, mm -hmm. and then they go to the White House and they take pictures. Thank yeah. you for your service yeah. and protecting all this stuff. I think it's a parade was the wrong word. It was the absolutely wrong word. But why not give them their day? Mm -hmm. I, I think it's great. I love it. I'm against that completely. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I wouldn't take we such a stance. We should MC it. We could yes. sit up there and little yeah. jazz. You can sit on my shoulders for that. I'll do uh, that. That would be nice. Uh, I will say this. You know, these issues, they, I feel like, uh, I'm, I, like I'm in an amusement park that never closes with Trump. You know, there are no lines. So every day is another ride that you're on. Yeah. And it's just like I'm nauseous and my head hurts, but I keep jumping on the rides. Yeah. Well, <laughs> he's, it's like crazy to me that they don't get the trolling. Yeah. He yeah. is the master troll yes. of all time. It's like at the State of the Union, he literally talked about the lowest black unemployment of all time, mm -hmm. and they wouldn't applaud that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you know what I mean? So then it's now we won't applaud the military yeah. parade. Yeah, he, that's what he does. He puts, he sets it up. You, if they if they don't applaud this, they look really bad. Yeah. And that's what he does. It's hilarious. I think, though, at 2024, when he's gone, we need a Sunday morning president. Because this is the Saturday night president. <laughs> you know when you like listen to really loud music Saturday night, and then Sunday morning, you got to play like Coldplay? No. We need, we need a Coldplay president. <laughs>